Hi guys, get ready with me for school, but with a twist. Today we're gonna be keeping a running total up here of how much every single product that I use costs. I saw my girl Brooke do this yesterday and immediately I was so curious. I was like, I have to know how much mine costs. I already did my skincare because I wanted this to be a fully makeup exclusive video. I'm just counting this in the makeup steps because of the bronzing drops. For moisturizer, I use the Murad Cellular Hydration cellular hydration repair cream and then the say bronzing drops the mini size in my mind i use a pretty good mixture between high-end and drugstore products so i'm not too terrified for this but we'll just have to see because this is also my everyday makeup routine now we're going in with my favorite skin tint of all time this is the fenty beauty eavesdrop blurring skin tint and i'm shade nine i keep this stuff really light so i'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it out on an everyday basis i've been really loving the rare beauty under eye brightener instead of using a full-on concealer and i use the shade light and it's splattered on my desk for the rest of my face i use the merit complexion stick and shade sand this is one of my favorite products cover up my redness this is pretty much the routine that i do on an everyday basis when i actually have time to get ready because on the days that i have my 8 a.m i am not putting in this much effort for blush we're using the blush side of the dibs dual ended stick and this is in shade 2.5 and the blush shade is called cool girl i love a good cool girl to set everything this is my holy grail powder it's the wet and wild photo focus and translucent it's the loose powder so good especially in the areas that i swear wet this is perfect i also like to pretend like i'm tan so i use the Too faced sun bunny bronzer and it has kind of a shimmer in it i think this is better than the hula bronzer in my opinion i just think it's a lot more even never forget to put it on the nose this right here if you watch my videos you just know this is the best highlighter it's the color pop and shade vanilla bean watch this like you're kidding. I don't do anything too crazy for the brows, just some brow gel. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. It's a tube version of the brow freeze that comes in the pot. Y'all, my girl stash is growing back in and I forgot to shave her and now I'm really regretting it. I actually cannot do eyeliner on camera. I'm trying my best. Oh my God. The Essence Stay and Play Gel Liner in shade But First Espresso. And I put some mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the Essence Lash Princess in Waterproof. It's really dried up, but I like it that way. I don't do this every day, but I really love doing it. So I use the Aurelia Scott Faux Freckles. Just dot these on my nose and then just tap them. And they're so cute. For lips today, I'm just gonna use the YSL Candy Glaze in shade O2, which is just the clear gloss. This is the final everyday makeup look. Here's how much it costs total. I don't know how much it is yet because I have to edit it to find out, but I hope you guys like this. Love you guys. How much does this full face of makeup actually cost? I've never actually totaled up how much my makeup routine actually costs. So as I do my makeup, I'm going to show you guys the products, tell you the price. At the end, we're going to see how much this routine actually costs. Before any makeup, I have a lot of skin prep that I do. So I'm going to include that because that is part of my makeup routine. The Rogue Glazy Milk is my first step and it's $30. Next up is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This retails for $39. Next up I do is the Pharmacy Honey Halo. The size that I have retails for $48, but they do have multiple different sizes. But I'm just going to go based off price of what I actually have and use. Next is my MAC Hyper Real Skin Cam. Canvas Balm. This retails for a whopping $58. It's insane, but it's so good. Now onto my Holy Grail Priming Combo. I use the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. This is $28, and then I mix it with the NYX Plump Right Back Primer, which is $17. This is my favorite thing ever. I just used the last of this one, so now I have to spend another $17 to get a new one. My last step is the Kiehl's Under Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is the mini, but I do actually have the big one, so this is $37. I use three products for my brow combo. The NYX Brow Pen is $13. I get mine at Ulta. The Kosas Brow Pencil I use is $22, and then the brow gel I've recently been using is the Anastasia one, which retails for $26. So my makeup routine is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Folks Filter. This retails for $49. For my foundation on a day-to-day -day basis, I use the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint. I technically use two shades, so if you want to double it, you can. I'm not going to include that in the end pricing because usually I just use one. I'm going to mix shades six and four today because I'm in between tans. You're going to see me use this a lot, but this is the Tower 28 concealer. It's my favorite concealer of all time. I have like four shades, but this retails for $22. I'm going to use it to spot conceal and for under my eyes, but I was just going to go ahead and mention it. $22. For my contour, I use the Patrisol Duo in the shade She Sculpted. This retails for $40. I'm going to buff out this contour with my cream bronzer that I've been obsessed with lately. It's the Persona Cosmetics one in the shade Dune. This retails for $26. For my cream blush, I always switch it, but recently these are the two formulas I've been reaching for. I've been using the Say Do blush, which retails for $25 no matter what shade, and then the Rare Beauty blush, no matter what shade, $23, so I use both. For my concealer combo lately, I've actually been mixing two, and I cannot wait to share how much this has already changed my under eye look recently, but I've been using the House Labs mixed with my Tower 28. Holy combo, like I said, this is $22, and this retails for $32. For my powder, I use Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom. This retails for $38, and then I also use the pressed powder version, which is, again, another $38. Like I said, this is a pressed powder. This is another $38. 
for my eyeshadow recently, if I'm doing anything, even if it's just a little transitional shade in the crease, it's the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette. This retails for $70. I haven't even included all of my tools, so obviously the price is going to be even more for considering all the tools I use. But I cannot do my lashes without my Shiseido eyelash curler, so I am counting this. This is $25. And then I use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, which retails for $28. For my bronzer, I used the She Sculpted Duo recently, so we already accounted for the price of this. But again, like I said, it was $40. If you break down the math, that's basically like $20 per product. For my blush, I use several different things and I always change it up. But generally, I use a powder blush and then a blush topper. I'm just going to account for my highest price favorite powder blush because I do use it a lot. So the Dior one is $40 and then my favorite blush topper is also $40. It's from House Labs. It's technically a highlighter, but I use it as my blush topper. For my highlighter, I use one on my face, which is the Refi Gloss Highlighter. This, this retails for $26. On my nose and in my inner corners, I use the Benefit Cookie Highlighter, which retails for $35. My favorite lip liner and lip products are kind of always things that are always changing. My favorite is the Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut. However, I can't find that. So just pretend like that is this. We're gonna use NYX in the shade Mauve. This is like a $6 lip pencil, but I'm gonna still count for the $22 that the Makeup Forever one costs because usually that's what I use. These are new from House Labs. They're like the hybrid lip glaze things. This retails for $26. The last step to my makeup routine is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the big one, so we're going to count for it. This is $58. Before I ever filmed this video, I wrote down all of my products and their prices, and plus the two that I forgot, I added into this price, and the final total for my makeup routine is $979, not including makeup brushes that I use. That is so much more than I was expecting. Do you need to spend this much money to have good makeup? No. Please do not think that. But now that I know that my makeup routine literally costs $1,000, I'm going to use my products sparingly. I cannot afford to buy this all if I lost it all today. Do you think that this makeup looks like it costs $1,000 or is even worth $1,000? Let me know. Honestly, I don't think any makeup is worth $1,000 unless you're going to like the Grammys. Let me know what y'all think. I love you guys so much. My $1,000 routine. First are 24 karat gold eye patches, which are 75. You guys are gonna find out why this routine is so expensive towards the end. And these are from Peter Thomas Roth. Next, Caudalie Spray. This is 49. Second spray, Kosas, which was 45. Moving on to the tone. This one's 55. Leveling up the $82 serum from Caudalite. The serum is actually so good though. $160 for this giant Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer. The low recipe he drops 35. And they're just dropping in Sephora. It's done with skincare and it's gonna start getting more expensive. Sunscreen 36. This is the House Labs Foundation 45. The luxury concealer from Hourglass is 36. Honestly though, one of the best concealers. Benefit Brow Pencil, 26. Patrick Top Bronzer, 40. You guys are gonna find out what's so expensive. One of the things is the Dior Blush, which is 40. Eyeliner, only 13. The Give Mascara is 20. This highlighter palette was 75, but it has four shades. For lips, 29. And 42, the Y Cell Lipstick. Urban Decay Setting Spray is 30. Six. Givenchy powder is 60. So that's 9.99 for you. How much does my makeup routine actually cost? First, I use the Caudalie Face Mist, which is $12. Then I go in with the Essence Toner, which is $38, followed by the Glow Recipe, which is $35, and the Dew Drops, which are $20 as well. Next, I'm going to use the Glow Recipe, which is $35, and moisturize that in with the $17.99 CeraVe. I also use the Charlotte Tilbury, which is $23, followed by the Rare Beauty, which is also $23 as well. Then I blend it with this $10 beauty blender, and I also use my $24 refry brush. I also use this $20 Morphe highlighter, which is really cracked. Then I use this Morphe highlighting brush, which retails at $12. The Makeup Forever Lip Liner is $24, and so is the Summer Fridays, and the Dior Lip Oil is $40. Then set it all in, and everything is $357.99. Let's see how much my entire makeup routine costs. Saw Maya do this, so I have to hop on this trend immediately. The Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. So nervous for this. Then I go in with the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer. The thing is, is that I don't really use a lot of drugstore products. I mostly just use high-end. The Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Brightening Gel Cream. Again, with Glow Recipe, these are the dew drops. Mainly bought this product for the packaging, but it makes my skin feel so nice and it smells like watermelon. Then I go in with the Laneige Lip Mask in Berry. Day Beauty Bronze Drops in Sun Glow. These are so much better than the Drunk Elephant Drops. For brows, I'm using the Kosas Brow Pop in Dark Brown. Then I'm using the Patrick Ta Brow Gel to set them in place. 
e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade 4. This dress-up foundation brush, but they all came in the same set, so I'm going to include it as one price. The House Labs Concealer in 13 Light Neutral. To melt everything into my skin, I'm using a Beauty Blender Rare Beauty Bronzer in Always Sunny. Real Techniques brush to blend it in. Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in Encourage. Fifi Beauty Blending Brush. Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in Butter. Almost forgot my Grande Cosmetics Lip Plumper. By Mario Powder Bronzer in Medium. House Labs Blush in Rose Quartz. Rare Beauty Powder Highlight in Mesmerize. Look at that shine. The Tweezerman Eyelash Curler. Then I used the Too Faced Brown Mascara in Chocolate. Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Wise. Say Beauty Lip Gloss in Bounce. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is the final look, and down here is the grand total. I'm so nervous to look at it. How much money does my everyday makeup routine actually cost? I'm gonna do my everyday makeup routine, except we're gonna total up the price at the end and see how much money my full routine costs. First is the Say Super Glowy Gel, which is $28. And the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, that's $60. I did not know this was $60. Then I go with my Clarence Lip Oil, which is $30. For brows, I use the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel, which is $12. Going with the e.l.f. Halo Glow, this is $14. Putting on the Laura Mercier Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation, this is $52. The sad part is this is not even like a full glam tutorial. Comment if you guys want me to do this again, but with like a full glam makeup. Going in with the LYS bronzer stick. This is $20. Actually, I thought this would be more. That's a good price. Going in with the NARS pot concealer to cover pimples I have because this is $32. Going in with the Tower 28 concealer. This is $22, which is such a good price for how good this is. Cream blush. I normally use the Makeup by Mario blush stick in the shade Earthy Pink. This is $28. I'm using something top secret today, so I I can't show you. First go with the Charlotte Tilbury powder, which is $48 under my eyes. Makeup is expensive, what? Like I'm like just realizing this. I go with the Huda Beauty Loose Powder. This is $38. I just put it under my eyes a little bit. I spray my face with the Tarte Miracle Mist, which is $20. One with my Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette, which is $50. But honestly, you can just go in with your bronzer. Go in with Freck, which is $28. Ivy? I curl my eyelashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curler. This is $15. Going with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is $11. A Refi Lip Liner, this is $26. Hey, okay, never mind, I hated that color. I'm going in with Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut. This is $22. And lastly, I finish off with the Rare Beauty Highlighter. This is $25. Just put more Clarins Lip Oil on, but I'm not counting that twice. I forgot that I go in with my Laura Mercier Eyeliner. This is $29 and I just put it in my waterline. Okay, here's the finished makeup look and the total price is honestly not as bad as I thought, $503. Yes, that's actually insane and kind of gross, but it's not as much as I thought. Total up what your makeup routine costs and comment it down below because I'm actually interested. Love you. 